Like with the majority of films, our film also starts with our company islands. These use to advertise the company that produce and distribute the films. Similarly, we have laid the film titles throughout the opening of the film, which both are a point more, more of who made the film. Our film titles are a white font, which makes them stand out instead of having credits at the start of the film. We decided to only include major ones, such as the director. This is keeping with modern conventions, who only display a few at the start of the film. Older films used to have credits at the start of the film instead of at the end. As well as that, instead of a Scream Queen in our film, we have opted to develop conventions and go for the Scream King instead. The Scream King has still as many aspects that the Scream King has though. Such as um, typical blonde hair and going against Small Code. Small Code is very important in our film opening. The Scream King has a bottle of alcohol in his hand before he gets tracked down by the killer. This is to anchor the point that the Scream King is going against Mole Code and must therefore be punished. Location is very important in our film as well. We had researched a multitude of films previously for research on how to make the best film opening possible. We had looked at Saw and Wolf Creek in particular. We found Wolf Creek to be set, like most horror films, in a rural area, which is what we chose for our outdoor scene, which is snowy and placed in the enclosed alley. Our indoor scene is also heavily influenced on past films, as it is in an old abandoned cellar. We further developed this by using camera angles to make our Scream Queen look weak. At the end of the film, we used medium shots, but when he was taken hostage, we used high angle shots to make him look weak and vulnerable, which is a common aspect of horror films. In the film opening, we had to use selective filming to make sure we didn't reveal any details that we didn't want the viewer to see it such as the killer's identity, as this was important for us to keep a secret. Our soundtrack is heavily influenced by the one used in Psycho. We use long string notes to build tension and short loud notes when action is occurring in the film, such as the killing of the Scream King.